What's going on, you guys? What's tea? Okay, this video is going to be kind of brief. Um, because I was watching Basketball Wives. However, I wasn't watching it. Because I was on the phone with somebody, so I was hearing what they were saying or whatever. But, you know, not really. But I'm going to go ahead and give my review because I watched it enough um, to know, you know, basically what's going down. Um, so I believe Brandy had a party for her friend Duffy. Um, and Malaysia ended up being a party pooper and she left. Um, and she basically told Jackie that, um, she left the party because it was boring. Y'all know Malaysia got introduced to Duffy through Brandy last week, last week's episode of Basketball Wives, which was the season premiere, um, season five. So, um, she off the bat didn't like Duffy for whatever reason. And Duffy could sense that she didn't like Malaysia. Now, Brandy had, uh, had um, warned Duffy that Malaysia kind of got a nasty attitude sometimes, you know, with certain people. People, you know, she has to warm up to people, then she'll give them their, then she'll show her heart. But, you know, it takes a long time for her to warm up to people. I don't really understand those kind of people. I mean, I do. I guess I'm that way also. But I'm just always friendly. And I just always treat people the same. So if somebody end up not liking me, then I know for sure it's probably their problem and not mine. Because I didn't do anything wrong. You know, I know it's just, it's their shit, it's their issues, their insecurity, whatever the hell. It ain't got nothing to do with me, and, you know, and I wish them the best, you know. But anyway, so, um, what was I saying? So Duffy... Uh, she doesn't really like Malaysia. Malaysia really don't like her, but they just haven't said that yet to each other. Um, so it's Brandy and Malaysia. They're talking on the beach and everything. And Malaysia's just shooting the shit, you know, to Brandy. Just pretty much, you know, being around the bush and, you know, not giving a clear an answer or whatever as to why she left. Um, so Brandy, Jackie, and um, Duffy, they meet up. Um, I believe they was working out. They was on a bleacher somewhere. And um, Jackie ended up telling uh, the real reason why Malaysia left um, the party, Brandy's party. Um, and Brandy was just like, and, and Jackie was just like, she said she left the party because it was boring. And Jackie was just like, hell yeah, I said it. Maybe I wasn't supposed to say it, but I said it. Um, and Brandy was just like, this is crazy. And Duffy, she kept trying to say that she don't believe that Malaysia is Brandy's real friend. Um, because Malaysia is very negative and, <clears throat> um, drama -fied and stuff. And she don't really have her back like she thinks she, a friend is, is supposed to, or a lover, allegedly. Um, so, you know, she kind of had an issue with it, with it, or whatever. Um, because Duffy and, um, Brandy are like this. Um, you know, they've been knowing each other a long, 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 long time. Um, and I honestly think Malaysia's jealous of that. Um, <clears throat> because, you know, I, to be honest, y'all, I really do think that Malaysia and Brandy done, you know, wrote up against each other and they done got excited a little, hey, hey, a little, what, what, I don't know. Like, I really do believe that. I understand it's your, your best friend and your bestie and this and that and, Go best friend and all this shit, but you know, even best friends bump kitty cats every once in a while, and you know, scrape dicks or two. <laughs> so um, I don't know. I think I think you know they both didn't have nobody. Um, Brandy's husband um, is cheating on her left and right with women all over the world, and um, Malaysia been divorced from her husband. So um. Yeah, I, you know, that's just my opinion. It could not be true. It's all alleged, whatever. It could not be true, but I just believe it. It's just, I don't know, it's something, it's something weird between Brandy and Malaysia. I definitely um, feel what Tammy was saying when she said that last season. She was like, word on the street. The rumor is. But anyway, um, so they was on the bleachers talking, Jackie Duffy and Brandy, and then all of a sudden Brandy 
um, she decided to walk off because she got mad because Jackie and Duffy was teaming up on her because Brandy was trying to take up for Malaysia. And then, you know, they just hugged it out or whatever. It's just like, I'm just a real friend to you, yada, yada, yada. Um, let's see. A little later on, uh, Tammy meets up with um, Jackie. Tammy be looking cute in her confessionals. Tammy's a beautiful woman anyway. But Tammy be looking beautiful in her confessionals. But when she she's not in her confessionals, when she's just, you know, talking to the girls or whatever, or having her own scenes, she be looking the fool. She be looking like, um, what was it, second season of Basketball Wives, Miami, when she first got on there? Yeah, just, you know, just, you know, Hood Rat Supreme special. Just, it's just quite the, quite the outfits, quite the hair, quite the ensemble. Quite the look, quite the image. Oh my God. Um, so it's just my bird clock, y'all. If y'all hear that chirping. But anyway, um, so it was Jackie and Tammy. They talking. All of a sudden, Jackie brings out Angel, Black Angel, which is Angel's friend. Angel, um, y'all remember Angel? The other angel, the original angel, Drea's friend um, from last season. She's back on here. And Angel is friends with another angel. This angel is black um, and has a little girl and has a husband. And she just decided to take a break from him because I guess she's just sick of doing everything for him. And she's just not feeling appreciated, like cherish. I'm feeling really unappreciated. Y'all remember that song? Y'all remember Cherish? We got the same last name, King. My name is Chase King, so we might be um um related, child. You don't do the things you used to do. You don't even say I love you too. And lately, I've been feeling, feeling unappreciated. Woke up this morning, saw your face, and it didn't look the same as yesterday. Let me stop. Okay, so y'all know I go on and on and on. So, um, they had this whole, um, you know, moment, and then all of a sudden she brings out Angel Jackie. Tammy was just like, who the hell is this? I should be mad at Jackie, but, you know, they end up getting along because, you know, there's still beef or whatever. She ends up talking about, um... Angel ends up talking about Brandy and how nasty her attitude was and how they kind of had a little altercation. I don't know when the hell this happened. I guess it happened at this party that we didn't see or whatever. Because um, I don't remember them having a party or all getting together at the first episode. I could be wrong, but y'all let me know in the comments. But um, they had this whole, um, you know, sit down, the three girls, and they was talking, and, and uh, Angel don't like Brandy. She started spilling the tea and being ratchet instantly. I was like, damn. Um, and Tammy was just like, well, I like her and stuff and that. And they start talking. She's a nurse, Angel. She didn't say that she was a damn nurse last episode when we met her ass. Um, but she's telling Tammy she's a nurse and this and that. You know, but whatever. So Tammy, Jackie, and Angel is cool. Boom. Okay. On the other side of town, we meet with the original Angel. And Angel's meeting up with Duffy because um, Angel's working with Duffy some kind of way or with the clothes or whatever the hell. Um, and um, she's interested in, in her line or something or another. Y'all fill in the gaps for me. Told y'all I was halfway watching. Um, so they have that moment. And Angel, of course, has an issue with Malaysia because last season, uh, Malaysia... Uh, it went to Angel because Angel is a clothing designer, um, and she wanted an outfit for her um, viewing or something or another of her um, confidence sets. Malaysia got confidence sets, and you know, and and you know, curtains and rug lines and shit, and Ashley's and Aaron's. No, I don't know where they are, but you know, you know, apparently she didn't like the outfit. Uh, Malaysia said that she would look like a sexed up Power Ranger. She didn't like the outfit because it. You know, she was selling beds and not selling ass. And um, all Angel's outfits that um, she gave Malaysia was very, was very revealing. And Malaysia didn't like that for what she was trying to sell, which was an ass. It was, you know, sleep. So. <laughs> so, um, 
anyway uh so they had that whole thing and duffy fully agrees duffy thinks that malaysia's a bitch and that she thinks she's better than people angel agrees at the same thing and and she i think uh, malaysia's ex funny a lot of times I see I go in and out of like a Malaysia I really do and I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna feel Malaysia in general I, yes I do like Malaysia but I don't understand people who think they're better than other people I don't get that kind of stuff I mean we all shit the same you know we all use the bathroom the same we all eat the same drink the same we all pretty much you know got the same shit going on with our body so like, I don't really understand that kind of thinking. Nobody's perfect but God, you know. And, you know, we wipe our ass the same way. I mean, we might use different brands of toilet tissue, but it's pretty much the same stroke for the most part that you wipe from the front or the back. I mean, but um, it's just craziness. Um, But whatever. But I do agree with that um, to a certain extent about Malaysia. Um, she's just being a bitch for no reason, though, really. I mean, you know, you're not important. Nobody's on this on these damn shows is that much and damn important that you think you gotta act um, better than the other girls. That's not why. That's how Drea act last season. Um, before she just stopped filming, you know, she was acting all bougie, acting like she done came out like she better than everybody. Girl, bye. You come from damn um, hiding out in locker rooms at the um, damn pep rallies, the basketball games, child, please. But anyway. So, um, they had that whole thing, and let's see what happens after that. Everybody agrees that it should be some apologizing going on, yada, yada, yada. Tammy meets up with Malaysia, um, and they have that whole moment. Um, and Tammy thinks that Brandy owes Shawnee an apology. Apology and apology and apology. Ass kissing and ass kissing, cooning and cooning. Um... And, you know, Malaysia's just like, it's the cold day in hell. It's not going to happen. Tammy um, is apparently cool with everybody in her mind. Um, let's see. So Malaysia's just like, look, we can open up the conversation of putting Brandy and, and, and Shawnee in the same room together and see what the fuck happens. She was just like, okay, cool. Um, let's see. Uh, Brandy goes to this empty-ass movie theater. And um, her empty ass marriage all of a sudden is spread all across the screen um, in the movie theater. And it's her husband. He's talking and he's just like, um, yeah, I'm sorry, baby. I just made a mistake. And you're the queen of my world and the queen of my life. And he's out of my life. And all this stuff. And, you know, she starts crying and all that. We found out that her husband pretty much cheated on her. He was overseas. He was in China or some damn where. And he pretty much cheated on her ass while he was over there. Um, and, you know, now he's, you know, making this music video and shit of, of past memories when they was young and all this other shit. And, you know, she was just like, I don't believe it. Like, the cheating just happened, like, last week and all this. And she keep giving them chance after chance after chance after chance. This is how you solve that situation, Brandy. Cut his dick off. Cut his dick off. Men who are very promiscuous like that, which a lot of men is, no matter what age, there's some old holes out there. It don't make no sense. Who, really? But some folks just won't act right. And in this case, Brandy, the only thing that you could do is cut his dick off. Because he holds, because all his power is with his dick and his money. I don't know how much you can do about his money. I'm sure you get some of his money. But, you know, he he holds, every everything is controlled by his dick. So cut it off. That's the only way you're going to get any peace. It's the only way you're going to get for him to act right. Because don't no woman want no man with no dick or a broke dick. I'm just saying, it's the truth. Come on, commenters, tell me what y'all think, my lovely subscribers. Um, so they had that whole moment, and I don't know if she's going to take them back. We're going to see this whole season. It's always something with Brandy and her damn ex and trying to stay together for the kids. And <laughs> Fuck it. They're going to grow up. They're going to, you know, I, I don't understand that. I mean, I do in a sense, you know, while they're young. But if he, why continue to stay in something if you're not happy? 
the kids gonna be all right. They gonna grow up. They gonna understand what the hell is going on. They gonna be like, and hey, you stayed through all this shit. Fuck wrong with you? Like you know, the kids will adapt. They'll be fine. And you know, they might be heartbroken and upset for a while. It's not gonna permanently stain their life. And some people are just so dramatic. Like I'm not gonna stay in the situation if I'm not happy. I'm not just gonna stay in it just to say I got somebody. Or just because I, I still want to live a certain lifestyle. Just because I, I want everything that comes with that person. Like, no. I'm not going to say some shit if I ain't happy. Why? Who wants to be? You only get one life to live. Why be miserable in it? Like, every year. Like, come on now. So, I don't know what the hell Miss um, Brandy Maxwell, Maxwellion, whatever last name is, going to do. But, um, yeah. So, let's get to... Pretty much the last scene, and this is where Angel is having her little fashion show thing. Um, she invites all the girls. Oh, Angel had a conversation with Malaysia. Um, I said I, this video was going to be briefed in the, every time, y'all. But uh, uh, Angel, the original Angel, had a conversation with Malaysia. She was just like, you know, you're not going to disrespect me, and I just can't take it anymore. Apparently, Angel had went on a radio station, and she said that she would slap Malaysia or something. Or another, um, which you know would be, you know, it, it went in well for Angel, <laughs> pretty damn sure. And I don't know, maybe she got some tricks up her sleeve. Maybe the bitch know Taekwondo. I don't know that lady, but um, ain't no telling. But um, so they have the conversation. Malaysia's being very standoffish and distant, being a smart ass. She was just like, I'm not thinking about you and I don't talk about you. And this is the last time, this is the most I've ever talked to somebody who's irrelevant and you're nothing to me and this and that. Angel's just like, I'm not going to take your shit. I'm not going to take your disrespect. Um, I'm sick of your bougie ass and this and that. And Malaysia just wasn't here for it. The conversation went nowhere. And they basically both agree to just stay out of each other's way. If somebody says, if if it's Angel, and somebody says something about Malaysia, she's going to be quiet. And Malaysia, I guess, agreed to do the same thing. Um, but um, anyway, Angel invited all the girls to her little fashion viewing. And Malaysia said she didn't go. She didn't want to go, and she didn't. Um, but uh, Malaysia and Brandy was shopping or whatever. And um, she, Malaysia, Brandy had mentioned to Malaysia, she was just like, um, look, uh, no, Brandy, Malaysia had mentioned to Brandy shit. Brandy had, I'm sick of these bitches already. Okay, Malaysia, fix it, Jesus. Fix it right now, Lord. Okay. Malaysia had mentioned to Brandy, do you think that you should apologize to Shawnee? Apparently, Brandy has apologized to Shani over and over and over and over again. But Shani still has an issue because she's gone on radio stations and stuff and lying about everything. And basically, that Brandy begged for her job back and she gave it to her, but she's still talking shit and, you know, saving face, trying to be all big and bad, whatever. I don't really know who to believe and I don't really give a damn. Um, but, hey, it is what it is. So, uh,. Let's see. Brain freeze. Brain fart. Brain whatever. Um, okay. So they had that whole thing. They was talking to Brandon. just like, I ain't going to kiss her ass. I ain't going to coon out. Yada, yada, yada. Um, she has the whole fashion show viewing whatever. Angel looked beautiful. Um, Jackie and... Jackie and who arrived early? Jackie and... I think the other angel came first and then um, Tammy came in after that. And so that was cool. Tammy came in there looking like the leprechaun um, with that damn hat on, looking like um, the damn shadow man from the princess and the frog, looking like damn, um, what was his name? From, um, Looking like Papa Legma from American Horror Story, The Coven. The Coven. Just, um, child, Tammy. All she needs her butt wiles and she good. So then after that, um, Duffy 
And uh, Brandy came in. She's like, oh, shit. And Tammy was just like, yes, Shawnee's supposed to come, too. So Shawnee comes in, but it's that's not going to be until uh, next week. Um, so, you know, it was a little shade being thrown. Brandy, of course, had a big altercation with Tammy last season. But uh, we'll see exactly what happens with that. Um, Tammy, she was just like, I'm cool on Brandy. I don't necessarily need no apology from her. But um, I guess it would be nice. So basically, Brandy just got to go around apologizing and shit and just, I, I don't know what the hell Brandy would do. I was just, you know, I wouldn't even just showed up for this next season. I mean, really. I don't even know why it's another season of this show, to be honest. But I'm going to review it. I'm, I'm going to stick to the foolishness. Because I saw Jackie Chrissy knock somebody down on the floor, and I'm interested in that. Or tumbled over somebody or some shit. I don't know. But anyway, um, the women are beautiful. And, you know, I like looking at them and their different looks and, and wig changes and stuff. So we'll see. Anyway, I am Mr. Chalaki. I can't do the pop. That's better. Uh, Mr. Chalaki on YouTube. Um, follow me, uh, Mr. Chalaki, uh, Google Plus. Um, at It's Kings World on Twitter and Instagram at It's Kings World 89 on Snapchat. Chase King was here on Facebook. Um, see you guys later. Um, for probably my love of hip hop Atlanta review. I don't know if it's a reunion or not. We'll see. Oh, and I appreciate you guys um for uh all the nice comments and all the views on uh my uh video with my best friend Juan. He'll probably be back soon. He might be back tomorrow. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Alrighty, um, see you guys later.